What's going on guys, my name's Raph, and Cynthia is set to return tomorrow in the Pokemon anime after 9 years. With Ash obtaining his Mega Lucario soon after, it's shaping up to be an ecstatic month for Pokemon journeys. New information from Telebicoon, Pash, Animedia, Pokenchi, and other sources have surfaced, alongside a new episode title. Some big merchandise scans have popped up, potentially teasing the next set of events to come as well. There's a bunch of information to cover, so let's jump straight into it. Don't forget to leave this video a like to show your support, and I'll be sure to bring out my next video shortly. Make sure to subscribe if you're ready to keep up to date, and without further ado, let's begin. So after tomorrow's episode, the Pokemon anime will be going on a one week break due to a broadcast suspension and different show airing on its original day. The anime will resume on the 22nd of October with episode 85, focusing on Ash's Mega Lucario. We may receive additional news during that week's break, so be sure to stay tuned if so. Now let's dive into all of the latest information that's been revealed, alongside explore potential theories and plot points. Before I begin, the details I'll be discussing are in no particular order. This is just pure speculation. Firstly, we have the summaries for episode 84 and 85. The summary for episode 84, named The Lucario Knight, Adventure on Mega Island, states the following. Ash and Go visit Karina in order to Mega Evolve Lucario for the Pokemon World Championships. After receiving a keystone that's required for Mega Evolution from Karina, Ash heads to Mega Island to get a Mega Stone, known as a Lucario Knight, that's required for Mega Evolving. Will Ash and Lucario be able to strengthen their bonds and learn Mega Evolution? So this is the famous episode that Ash will obtain his Keystone and a Mega Stone for Lucario. We already know Karina will be accompanying Ash and Go on this quest, and I'm sure we're all excited to see how this unfolds. Moving on to episode 85, titled Rival Showdown, Ash vs B, the summary states the following. Ash is going to battle B, a rival he's already had two fierce matches with before in the Pokemon World Championships. When he goes with Go to Stowe on Sai Stadium, where the match is going to be held, they suddenly run into B there. She and Ash are both really infused about the next day's battle and introduce each other to their Pokemon. It's time for a hyperclass battle between Ash, equipped with a Mega Glove, and B, equipped with a Dynamax Band to begin. Another highly anticipated battle that will show the Mega Evolution and Gigantamax mechanics clashing. In fact, the title for episode 86 ended up getting revealed to coincide with these events. This episode is titled Mega Evolution vs Gigantamax. No summary is currently known. This episode is set to air on the 5th of November, and as we can tell already, it seems that the hyperclass battle between Ash and B will be a two-parter. I assume the build-up of this episode will be in the episode prior, with episode 86 fully focusing on the clash of these two Pokemon. It's definitely an episode to look forward to. Next, I want to discuss a few details that you may have missed in episode 82. For those of you that are unaware, Raihan's voice actor ended up being changed. This is due to the recent news about the original voice actor doing some pretty upsetting things. But I won't discuss that here. We also have the segment of Chloe discovering that the Galarian Ponyta and Galarian Rapidash she made in episode 55 have been both keeping well, after being informed by Opal. The key dialogue I'm intrigued about is how Chloe said that she was wondering how they were. So not long ago, we discussed how the current opening has proven itself to be a bait stack due to the fact we see a frame of the gang and their Pokemon resting by a spring. Chloe is shown with a Galarian Ponyta, and after watching episode 55, the highly anticipated capture never happened. But now that we had some confirmation about the Pokemon and Chloe's feelings, it begins to question if we'll see Chloe reunite with his Pokemon after all. Now let's talk about tomorrow's episode, episode 83. The official Anipoke PR Twitter account released a tweet stating that Cynthia will be returned to the anime after 9 years, with a new frame from the episode showing the Sinnoh champion and Pikachu. An interview with Cynthia's voice actor Toma Sakurai stated a very interesting text. Cynthia, the champion of the Sinnoh region and one of the Masters 8 in the Pokemon World Championships, will eventually have a battle with Ash. I think this was inevitable to happen due to the fact we're seeing her return to the anime, and it's just really reassuring these types of interviews, especially seeing as we've had them from Gary's, Iris's, and Dawn's voice actors. A new interview from Cynthia's voice actor from New Type magazine also stated that she has a really big passion for Pokemon. Passion and Amidia next, which show off some nice pieces of art. We then have Pokenchi, which actually showed off some new frames of tomorrow's episode, featuring Garchomp and Cynthia. Speaking of new frames, more of these were revealed showing the unknown from episode 83. There were also a few new frames that were shown during the commercial broadcast of episode 82, potentially revealing that Go's Inteleon may learn liquidation in a future episode, most likely the episode relating to Go and Inteleon underwater. We then saw a few new frames of Mega Lucario that will feature in episode 85 and 86. Next up is Telebicoon. The latest issue ended up showcasing a recap of Pokemon capable of Mega Evolution, probably to coincide with Ash now receiving his new form of Pokemon. We also saw the same frames from episode 84 from Pokefan. There is also apparently a segment talking about how Ash could potentially face Leon in the Masters 8, making him a possible future opponent. But apart from that, nothing else new has been revealed. Finally, let's talk about merchandise. So with the Sinner hype in the air, there could be some very small clues that could coincide with some big returns. We spoke about how Dawn's return could happen once again thanks to the new scan showing familiar Sinner Pokemon owned by her as well, such as Piplup, Veneri, and Pachirisu. Just to reiterate, 
I would love to see her return again in the Winter Special to have a recurring role and portray her growth as mentioned by her voice actor Toyoguchi. There's also some new Sinnoh pieces focusing on Diago and Palkia, which could possibly tie into the Winter Special, and episodes surrounding the mythology of legendary Pokemon. As for this set focusing on Leafeon and Glaceon, I'm sure these would be the next evolutions Chloe and Eevee will encounter. We ended up getting further confirmation about Gigantamax Gengar, which then leaves us with this scan. The image appears to show the Maximizers from Pokemon Sword and Shield. Whilst it isn't known if this is just a promotional piece of art, it would be interesting to see when both toxicity forms will make their debuts in the anime to coincide with all of the merch that they've been receiving. Overall, the next big event is coming very soon in Pokemon Journeys. Just a reminder, the Pokemon anime is now on a one week break and will resume on the 22nd of October with episode 85 focus on Ash's Mega Lucario. But wanna let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. If you guys would like to interact with me, then be sure to follow me on Twitter and join the Team Pokecraft Discord server to discuss all things Pokemon. You can find the rest of my social networks on the screen and in the description below. If you enjoyed the video, then be sure to leave it a like as your support is greatly appreciated. Don't forget to share the video with your friends. Finally, make sure to subscribe to keep up to date on my videos and click on the little bell to enable notifications so you guys get notified when I upload a new video. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and be sure to stick around for more Pokemon content. Thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.